What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to a big new show because we are still gonna spend big and that's not going off a 3-0 loss, it's going off the fact that we have no choice because we are kind of moving on everybody uh, and we need to replace them and even if we are not moving certain players out in certain positions, we just need to strengthen the team and that's what Junkly is doing right now or planning to do, planning to spend over 100 million euros, and I will explain how these three names are the key players right now. It's Colt Miners, it's Adiemi, and it's Soribo, with Adiemi still being up in the air right now, but he is being pushed as the main number one target to replace uh, Sule slash Chiesa, depending on who you're going to switch from positions. But that's the news. 100 million euros, and the twist is it can all be done in about 10 days. Before we do that, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel as always, hit that bell notification, and let's talk about spending 100 million euros. Okay, so again, this is not based on a preseason loss against Nuremberg 3 0 with two goals in the last two minutes. This is just purely based on the whole summer. Because the entire summer, we were looking for an attacking midfielder, a center back, and a winger. Because we knew that we needed a defender. We wanted Calafiori. That didn't happen, so we need to move on. We knew that we needed an attacking midfielder. We got Douglas Luiz and Turam. Still no attacking midfielder. So you still need to go for the attacking midfielder. And you needed a winger because, well, you moved up Sule and you told Chiesa you can leave as well. So you have no choice. Now, the first part of news is that Todibo is just edging closer and closer and closer and closer. That feels like a deal that's going to be done at any given time. That deal can be closed and it can be closed for a very favorable transfer fee. It could be a 10 million euro loan deal with an obligation to buy at 25. Nice wants a percentage on the future resale. Let's see if that actually is going to happen. I think if that's going to happen, the club will knock out knock down a few millions on the deal as well. But that's basically the gist of it. That Toribu is the main target. He refused all the other offers. He told Nisi he wants to join, kind of like Sule did. We kind of used that as well to lower the price a little bit, little bit because the price was quoted at 40, 40 plus at the beginning, you know, when West Ham wanted him. And he said no. Um, but that's the first piece of the, of the puzzle because he's coming in. And unlike many still think that he's going to be a squad bench player, he's coming in to be a main guy. You know, if he is good enough to be a main guy, that's up to him, you know, to prove himself. You're not going to be handed it. But the idea is of him coming in and actually slot in, I think alongside Bremer, obviously. But that's the idea. Not just, ah, we are going to bolster the squad right here. Yes, you're bolstering the squad, but like you're bolstering the first team, you know, the starting 11, the players who need to go out there quote-unquote, the first day against Como and kickstart the season, lead that new Juve team to a better future, basically. The second name that is kind of pinned down in terms of, like, we know he's a target is Colt Miners. The situation surrounding Colt Miners remains interesting, a bit confusing, maybe a bit worrying, a mix of all those things, because we've been told that Colt Miners is the number one target. Chuntili told Mota, if we can spend that amount of money, do you want coke miners or do you want us to spend that on Calafiori? And he said, spend that on coke miners. So he is convinced that he needs a profile like coke miners. He's actually convinced that coke miners is the right profile, is the player who is going to take us back to the good old days, basically, is that attacking midfielder who will link up that midfield with the attack, who's going to score a lot of goals, who's going to be dominant, who's going to... Be the Colt Miners, I think many saw at Atalanta and actually also at um, at Azat, you know, in the Eredivisie, but especially at Atalanta. He thinks he is a key, or should be, be, can become a key piece to his new Juve team. The issue is, yes, the news is we sold Sule, we sold Heus, and that means we're going to close that deal for Todibo and make that bid for Colt Miners. But that bid for Colt Miners has been coming for weeks, and we still have no offer not even leaks of this is potentially going to be the offer and this is what Atalanta can accept will accept we have absolutely nothing so there are two scenarios one which seems very unlikely right now is that Atalanta are actually not selling and Juntili is playing uh, the media or two 
Juntili knows what Atalanta wants. He knows how low we can go. He knows the wiggling room. He knows where the soft spot is to get that deal closed. Those are the two only possibilities. And if you're being Juve, and you, if you're being a Juve fan who wants court miners, if you're being Mota, you better pray it's a second option. That Juntili knows what he's doing, that he's composed, he's calm, and he knows he will get that court miners deal over the line. Will you overpay? We can talk about money, but I think it's better to do that when actually a deal gets announced or it's a here we go and we have a very good idea of what the transfer fee is going to be for Colt Miners. I think that will be more fair than talking about now 60 million when potentially you're going to pay 45 plus bonuses. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm just making it up right now. But that's a deal that feels like needs to be done because we need him and Juntili need to bring him but especially Mota is demanding for him the third option or the third player is Ariemi but actually in general the wingers position that is that's a big question mark because Sule is gone you move that Ealing Jr you're trying to move out Costi just well and you told Chiesa you're not part of the squad that means you need to bring in two we thought but then post game Mota talked about Wea in a way that makes me believe that he is going to be a main guy. He's going to play across the board up front, not as fullback, that's what he said, but be a right winger, a left winger, a striker, a second striker. He's going to beat them all. Is that a good idea? No, because I'm not the biggest Timothy Wea fan because he's a very confusing player. He's back in preseason mode where he's good, but that's preseason. Adiemi is a player who I don't dislike. I dislike it for the price. You know, the price is too much. He's a player who is going to be very useful on the counter. He's quick. He can get behind people. The problem is his end product is very, very, very frustrating. And I said it weeks ago or days ago on one of my daily that attacking-wise, there are so worries. We don't have out and out. Like, people are worried about Vlaovic. Milik is probably not going to be there. Yildiz is not a goal-scoring machine. Ariemi is not a goal-scoring machine. Timothy Wea is not a goal-scoring machine. So where are these goals coming from? You cannot just assume our Colt Miners is going to come in and he's going to back those goals. So the moves up front are key. You know, th- those are going to kind of determine how the season is going to go as well. Because if you have no goal scorers and just people who can cause chaos, but there's no finishing article product to the chaos then it's going to be a very long season. You know, you're going to lose games just purely based on the fact that you're not going to gonna outscore teams. That's what it is. And also that backline is not fantastic to begin with, and we know that. So that Adiemi thing, deal, the club needs to think about that very well before actually splashing that money. You know, they need to be sure that they are comfortable paying that money, convinced that they can turn them in a in a very effective player, and also convinced that they don't need to spend that money to replace a Sule or a Chiesa and a Sule and can keep Wea. That's the big, big, big massive decision they're going to need to make, and it's a bit worry for me. But those are the three names. Those are the 100 million almost, you know, uh, that Juntili is willing to spend. Let me know in the comments what you think of all these names. How far should we go to bring up in these players? Or do you have other options, ideas? Let me know. And I will speak to you guys very soon again. Ciao.